What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of TXM Looks at Someone's Twitter. Except today, it's actually really, really exciting because there's just been a Level 5 Ambassador meeting, which is basically like the content creators that Level 5 have gone, yes, we like you, we're gonna give you exclusive Inazuma 11 news to reveal to your audiences, and well, there's just been one. And so TV Pegachan, the absolute top dog himself, has made a ton of this information public and um, that they have talked about in the meeting. And so today I'm just going to sit and react to this information. I'm going to read it for the first time, some of which I, I know because I just saw other people tweeting about it. But a lot of this I don't know. And so I'm excited to try and break it down with you guys. So without further ado, let's hop right in. We've got a bunch of tweets to go through. Um, so this is going to be really exciting. So first of all, sorry I made you wait. Ambassador meetings ended. Yeah, we have a bunch of information. Here it is. Let's go. First up, regarding the release date, the release date of the game will be adjusted through discussions between the manufacturers. Obviously, this is translated from Japanese. So we may need to use our brains a little bit to try and figure out exactly what he's on about. For so this reason, there are some items that we cannot give a release date for at this time. Inazuma 11 will create a whirlwind as it prepares for release in March. Obviously, that's the beta release. Events will also be held. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna fly myself across to Tokyo. Um, that would be fun. Imagine they, they hold one in Liverpool. That would be entertaining. Uh, or just anywhere in England. I would go. If they were genuinely, if it's an event anywhere in England, I'm there. Count me in. I will be there. I'll, I'll have, like, little mugs. TXM mugs I'll hand out to all the... the um, children who want them i don't know um but this yeah this is really exciting obviously that we know that the beta is coming out in march i've seen a lot of people disappointed that we didn't get the actual release date but for me when they say release date i'm happy to take that as oh we're delaying the game but here is when you're going to get to play the beta and um, obviously there was some mistranslations between release date and window and what exactly date means because we just kind of got march but i don't know i'm just happy to know the game is coming and now we have a month we know it's in March. How exciting is that? Or at least the beta is in March. How exciting is that to me? So I'm choosing to focus. And obviously, if you want to be negative, that's absolutely fine. I can completely understand where people are coming from when they're annoyed by all this. But for me, I'm choosing to focus on the positive side of we are playing the game in March and I cannot wait. Oh my God. Uh, right, anyway, let's move on. This is the exciting one. In Azuma 11, where everyone can participate in the beta test instead of a lottery, so everyone can participate in it, which is sick. Many people are worried about the system change, so we will decide to distribute a trial version. Obviously, the beta. We will soon announce what characters will appear in the beta test. It seems to be almost like the main story. I plan to play it until the main story comes out. So basically, we can play this beta up until the actual release of the game, which is sick. It's not like, oh, it's only going to be available for the month of March, or March till June, or March to march you know what i mean this isn't some super mario what's it super mario 90 how many marios were there, there was, you know what i mean that mario battle royale game it's not like that you can play this for as long as you want or at least until the main game comes out we respond immediately to requests for a month or two after the beta test was released but maybe difficult to release the product immediately after the beta test is released so basically hold your horses it's not coming out in april probably more likely i've seen people say september who knows due to various circumstances it is better to distribute the trial version only on the switch version Makes sense. Um, it'd probably be a bit too much to just do it on all versions. The main story will be released simultaneously worldwide for all models with cross save. Curious if that includes mobile phones for cross save. Who knows? Again, I'm so curious how the mobile phone version is going to work, and this is something I really want to see them talk about more, but we haven't got that yet, unfortunately. But here we go. Here we go, y'all. Like Megaton Class Musashi, a Steam version is also available. I think I forgot to announce this. A Steam version is also available. Inazuma 11 Victory Road is coming to Steam. Let's go. I'm going to play it on my Steam Deck. I'm going to play it on my PC. Oh my, I mean, it's more money I have to spend on bloody Inazuma 11. But my god, it's coming to Steam. Let's go. Oh, that's actually, that is so exciting. Because what that also means is mods. Because obviously Steam has mods. Modding is going to happen. Hell yeah, but like proper download your mods off the Steam Workshop. Let's go. How exciting is that? And uh, this for me, this, this announcement, I'm so excited to see this game on Steam. Just play it on my Steam Deck. The Steam Deck is such a good bloody system. I'm so excited to play the game on that. Oh my god. Let's play this game on anything, literally. That's so exciting. Player data can be saved for more than 4,500 players. Plan to exceed 5,000 players. Bloody hell. I swear they've been only saying 4,000 this entire time, so I'm curious. Oh, I guess new characters. 
That, that makes sense. However, there may be patterns with different parameters, even for players with the same name. Only famous players will have two to three patterns. For example, you can have multiple Sean Frosts with different patterns. Okay, so that makes sense. There'll be multiple versions of big characters, of like famous characters. Mark Evans, multiple versions. Axel Blaze, multiple versions. That one scout that you got really attached to in Engine 11 3, fuck him. One version. There will be hidden characters who aren't famous but are extremely wrong. Wrong? Strong. Allows you to save many players, but not infinitely. Hmm, interesting. Okay. There is a police siren going off. I guess they just... I was going to try and make some kind of joke about level 5 committing a crime because they're announcing so much heat. But I can't think of a joke. Um, moving on. Okay, story team. Only one can be saved. Once you clear the team using story mode to level 30, the members will be registered in the player bank. Competitive team. Up to 10 can be saved. You can create and save 10 teams from the members of the team player bank that can be used in Chronicle, Battle, and Tournament mode. That feels pretty self-explanatory. Once you clear the team using story mode to level 30, the members will be registered in the player bank. Does that mean the, just for the beta or just for the, the game? I don't know. Uh, moving on. From level 1 to 21, the speed of gaining experience points is the same whether it is one player or battle. Player battle. From level 50, 30 to 50, you can earn 5 times experience points compared to one player mode in player battle. Huh? At the release stage, level 50 is scheduled to be the max. In the beta version, only one team can be saved, and the maximum is expected to be level 30. Right, so what I think this is saying is if you are... you Okay, so in the beta, you can only save one story team. So this is talking about the beta. and I might be wrong about this, by the way. Once you clear the team using story mode, so level 30 is the max, and that's the same, in terms of gaining experience points, it's the same whether you're playing it single player or you're playing online versus someone. But if you're playing online versus someone from level 30 to 50 in the release, so when the game's actually released, you can earn five times the experience points doing it online versus doing it in single player. So you can level up quicker. That's cool. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Let me know in the comments if I got that wrong, but I think that's cool. <laughs> My mind is saying it's cool, so I'm going to say it's cool. About the new system, Avalar Board, official name, Ability Learning Board, it's a system similar to Technique Transfer, a skill tree with holes for techniques and skills, there are special moves that can never be erased, like Mark's God Hand and the former Rymon Junior High School. Okay, you can create different growth lines for each player, there is a secret book, but you need to put it in the skill tree, the secret book will not disappear. Oh, and David played the secret book, I need to look at, um... Pegachan, because where he released some, like, images here. So I'm assuming this is the skill tree. So wait, there are skill trees for Hisatsus, and this is how you learn Hisatsus? Oh, this could be heat. Oh, this could be heat. Ooh, wait, let me give you guys a clearer image. Well, that's not really a clearer image, is it? <laughs> but this this could kind of be heat. So, okay, I'm, I'm liking the sound of this in terms of, yeah, okay. This could be heat. The skill tree for his Atsus. And that's why people have been getting... You know, that's why some players have will have different... Yeah! That's why, obviously, we can't just give... Because what was it? Was it three his Atsus? Four his Atsus? Whatever. They just, I can't remember what it is in Victory Road. But in Victory Road, obviously, it means that Mark could potentially have, like, the 50 different ones that he has. Just you choose that through the skill tree, I'm assuming. I, I like that. I like the sound of that. I just hope I'm getting it right. The story is the highest number of animations ever. The chapter... The first chapter has many dramatic scenes. Play the first chapter of the beta test, I think you'll get a feel for the depth of the story and how passionate you are about it. The reason why the 11 members... Ooh! Why the 11 members of the junior high school have not been... Nagum and Bahara have not been revealed is the, is the remaining 5 or 6 other than currently announced characters can be freely selected from among the candidates. In other words, the members of the story will change for each player. Ooh! Something like the strategic meeting is always played before the match. That's exciting! So, I, this was speculated, but... So there aren't 11 team members of Nagamahara that are mandatory story players. Rather, it's that five, six of them are, um, and the others you choose. Kind of like Inazuma 11 2, Galaxy 11, like the Earth 11, it says there. Um, I like that. That's really cool. Well, it depends what the actual scouting pool of players is that you choose from, but I really like the sound of that. Again, another idea I am all on board for. Come on, level 5. He, no. When applying for ambassadorships, there was a multiplier. Okay, so this is talking about the ambassadors. I want to get preference to these people because they have made a thorough selection process and made it through. Okay, so the ambassadors will get to do cooler stuff. Wow, Pegachan, no need to flex on my English ass. But then, ooh, what is this? What is this? 
It seems that he feels the remake of the first Nintendo Switch version of Inazuma 11 must be done using the current system. Hello? Is this... I'm gonna... Basically, I'm gonna look into this more and make a video probably about this as a whole. Um, but basically what he's talking about is that the Inazuma 11 first game might get... Apparently also, I think I saw one person say 1, 2, 3. And Dumamoru might get remade. But will get remade for Nintendo Switch. That's really bloody cool. Oh my god. Like, count me in. Obviously. But that will get its own separate video. I'm gonna try not to focus on that too much for today's video. Today's video is predominantly about all of this stuff. But mainly, like, bloody skill tree? Huh? But mainly about the fact we're getting a Steam version of Inazuma 11. Oh my god, count me in. Let's play on Steam, y'all. Finally, I can play with my dad, I guess. I can play Inazuma 11 with whoever on Steam. That's exciting. Steam Workshop, that's exciting. Everything's real. This is insanely exciting. Let's play Inazuma 11, but my main character is, I don't know, like, five, ten times as tall. Who knows what people are going to pull out their ass. I can't wait. This is so exciting. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Just going over all the new Inazuma 11 news. I'm going to have another video out tomorrow talking about this potential little piece of speculation. And I'll see you guys next. But for now, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that classic YouTube stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.